What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, coming at you with another episode of Hockey Mask Time. Now, before I get started, let us bow our heads and recite the HMT motto, shall we? A man will only take so much disrespect. And it's only a matter of time before he finally decides today's the day. Gentlemen, here we go again. Now, this article was published on the 23rd of April. Colorado man who terminated, quote unquote, super mom wife a day before their divorce was to be finalized receives sentence. Well, gentlemen, right out of the gate, they're saying she was a super mom. Oh, no, 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 no. We all know the more positive light they try to paint the woman in, more than likely, the more dastardly the deeds she probably committed inside of their marriage. Now, let me just go ahead and say this right here. Woo! A Colorado man has been sentenced to life in prison for terminating his estranged wife one day before they were supposed to be divorced last March. David Lechner was convicted last week of first degree termination and other charges in connection with the March 30th, 2023 deletion of Tracy Lechner. On Monday, David, 46, was sentenced to life in prison. The Arapahoe County District Attorney's Office announced. The office said multiple neighbors heard the shooting when it happened and one witness spotted David during the act. The witness told police he saw David standing over his wife in the family's garage when he shot her three times, including once in the head. Yeah, he domed her. The witness said after the shooting, David ran to a car and attempted to drive away. The witness then rammed his rental truck into the side of David's car in an attempt to stop him from getting away. Once again, we have some jackass who decides to put on his cape, not thinking that this man just offlined his wife. Would he have any problems turning that gun on me? Should have been what was going through his mind. But nope, as we all know, white knights, simps, they only react. They don't think further down the line. Luckily, this guy managed to escape with his own life intact. Police arrested David down the street from the family's home, the district attorney's office said. David had reportedly used a stun gun to subdue his wife before shooting her at point blank range. Authorities said, according to CBS. Local ABC 7 reported that David and Tracy, 42, had not lived together for a number of years and that the offlining took place in the garage of the home where Tracy lived with the couple's young daughter and son, who were seven and nine years old when their mother was terminated, according to the outlet. At David's trial, Tracy's family remembered her as a quote unquote super mom, according to ABC 7. The outlet reported that the victim impact statements read at the trial includes notes from each of the Lechner's children. Quote, unquote, I hate you. 
this is what you took from me. The couple's son wrote to their dad, quote, unquote, I hope you die soon and have fun rotting in hell. Their daughter added, quote, unquote, you brutally terminated a kind, sweet, loving person. My mother did not deserve this. I have never associated myself with you. Well, Mr. Lechner, here's the message that you should send to your children. Fuck you both. That's it. I wash my hands of you completely. Now, those two impact statements, in my humble opinion, reveal that for them to call her a quote unquote super mom, oh no, 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 no. During their time of separation, these statements clearly indicate that she was poisoning those children against him, which in my humble opinion is a form of child abuse, but they're not going to see it as that. They're simply going to say, oh, well, she was the mother. She had custody. Therefore, she could say everything she wanted to those children and they would know no better. However, gentlemen, we all know this. Parental alienation is always a thing that happens when divorce happens. David's defense attorneys attempted to argue that his shooting was in self-defense and pointed to physical, or should I say a physical struggle that occurred before the shooting, which resulted in multiple stab wounds in the husband's buttocks. However, investigators told the jury that the incident was not a result of a spur of the moment fight, explaining how evidence showed David purchased a pair of gloves, duct tape, zip ties, a tarp, a getaway car, and a GPS tracking device in the days leading up to his wife's termination, according to CBS News. Quote, unquote, this was not a case of self-defense. Deputy District Attorney Tory Rivas said in a statement, this was a calculated termination plot to avoid a divorce and have sole custody of his children. Put a pin right there. Now, I find it egregious that they would make this the center point of why he put the mask on. Now, gentlemen, we know there have been far, far too many women who have actually played this scenario out by using a simp. But I'm going to take it to the next level. What's that next level? Women who terminate their children because of custody battles. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Even recently, there have been more than a few women who've actually done this. As a matter of fact, I'm actually going to go into an article where a woman did this just to avoid having to give the kids up to their father. Quote, unquote, the evidence shows he incapacitated Tracy with a stun gun, then shot her three times, including once in the head. David was found guilty of first degree termination illegal use of a stun gun, and attempted kidnapping. This heinous termination shocked the community, and Mr. Lechner deserves to spend every last minute of his life behind bars. District Attorney John Kellner said in another statement, man, talk about being in your feelings. Despite the sentencing, Chief Deputy District Attorney Chris Gallo lamented, saying, quote, unquote, no sentence can replace the life he took that day. Two children are now growing up without their mother 
while their father sits behind bars, Gallo said, well, well, well. Since they want to make, or should I say, it seems that they want to make him having sole custody of his children the crux of why he decided to put the mask on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, gentlemen. Like I said, there have been multiple women who offlined their children due to custody battles. And yeah, what does the media tend to do? We all know exactly what the standard operation is. Anyway, let's get to that scorecard, shall we? For location, went down in her garage. I'm going to give this a 15. Method of execution. Obviously, the problem solving pistol. Got to give that a five. Psychological impact. There was a witness that saw it go down. Got to give it a 30. And for the brutality factor. The fact he used a stun gun. Oh, yeah, that's going to up the points. So I'm going to give that a 25. So David, Doom, Bringer, Lechner gets a score of 75. All right, gentlemen. Since they want to say, oh, he wanted sole custody, so that's why he did what he did. You know what? I'm going to refer you guys to another article. Now, this would definitely fall into the sick woman files, which I have not done any of those because I would be doing way too damn many, especially in this new environment. So I got my Google open. Let's just go ahead and pick a random article. OK, got one. Now, this article was published on February 22nd this year. Mother in custody battle offlines four kids and herself in a house fire, Missouri reports say. Yeah, here we go, gentlemen. I find it absolutely egregious, especially when you look into this article. What do they do? They blame her ex-husband and her boyfriend for her mental state. Yeah. Standard operating procedure of the lamestream media and the court of public opinion. No matter what a woman does, blame a man for it. Yeah, right? No, no. But that was just a random article. My God, there are so many women who do this during custody battles. But yet, as men, we're supposed to just sit back, let the system steamroll us, and not talk about it. Hell no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You see, gentlemen, this is why more and more men need to stop getting married. I know there's always going to be men out there who decide that they're going to roll the dice. Unfortunately, my son included, you know, hey, as much as I tried, you know what? He's got to make his own decisions in life. He's got to walk his own path. But it is absolutely egregious that marriage and divorce are the quickest ways to turn a normal, everyday, average man into a criminal. Why? Because we all know this. Once she declares war, i.e. file for divorce, alimony, child support, you can't pay that, guess what? Off to jail you go. Put on the mask, guess what? Off to jail you go. Yeah, you can't pay, go to jail. Decide to take matters into your own hands, go to jail. So yeah, jail was over this man's head regardless. Hey, he just decided to go by his own hand. So, hey, ultimately, it is what it is. Well, I've rambled on long enough. 
read the article. Let me know what you guys think. And to you women out there who continue to use the absolutely corrupt family court system and divorce court system as a way to declare war on your ex-husband and think that you're going to get away scot-free, you better understand this because unfortunately you believe that whilst you're declaring war on him, that he's supposed to just sit there and take it. And guess what? Far too many men have sat back and took it. However, men of today, oh no, no, no. So you better understand this, ladies. Understand it clearly. The power you think you have, it is going out. Feminism and the idea that men are going to stand down while they get absolutely destroyed via alimony, child support, and the corrupt systems behind it, yeah, that's going out right along with it. Because trust and believe, ladies, when you declare war on your husband, when you go ahead and file that paperwork, you've pushed that man into a corner. And we all know what happens when you put any animal into a corner. They're going to come out rage-filled, and they're going to be coming out swinging, looking for that knockout blow. Or should I say, landing that lethal shot. It is what it is. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am out. Woke up, murder on my mind, yeah. Losing all my hope, yeah. I'ma do the crime, yeah. Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill, yeah. Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill.